Hi, this is Todd, and today is Thursday, June 16th, 2016. Today we're going to talk about setups of getting eggs out of glaucous group swallowtail females. This is a western tiger swallowtail um, that we have here. She is resting on the butterfly bush, Budlea davidii. We also have a potted willow, actually have a couple of them, and getting her set up to lay eggs. One thing that's notorious about glaucous group females and by Glaucus group, I mean Eastern Tiger Swallowtails, Canadian Tiger Swallowtails, Appalachian Tiger Swallowtails, Western Tiger Swallowtails, Two-Tailed Swallowtails, and Pale Swallowtails, is that sometimes females are somewhat finicky about wanting to lay eggs in captivity. Notice that I'm using a two foot by three foot uh, pop-up cage uh, to get eggs. Uh, usually if I had Lemonitis females, which are red spotted purples, Weedemars, Admirals, Spicers, etc., I'd use a smaller cage. And I would probably pack it a little bit fuller with willows. But the thing with swallowtails, especially glaucous group swallowtails, is they need room to fly. So they need to fly around the cage and they will fly and land. They don't crawl around and lay eggs. They fly to the leaf and very quickly lay an egg. And so um, one thing that I do to prep swallowtail females, especially the glaucous group, is I keep them in a closed area for four or five days before they lay eggs because they're usually not ready to lay eggs immediately after uh, they have been collected in the wild. And so what I do during those four or five days is make sure I feed them every day and kind of let their oviposter argue with them a little bit, kind of increase that itch to lay eggs so that when you do set them up, uh, they have a better chance, and more of an itch, and more incentive to go ahead and lay eggs. So we'll go ahead and see how we do. Okay, this is Todd. It's three hours later. <clears throat> the female has been removed from the um, collapsible cage and uh, has been taken inside and is being fed right now, even though she did have lots of opportunity to nectar on the uh, butterfly bush. We're just taking a look now at the leaves, and I apologize this isn't focusing properly, but she's laid six eggs on this willow leaf, one egg on that leaf, one egg on that leaf, uh, two eggs on this leaf, and two eggs on this leaf. She's already laid like 40 eggs and she's still somewhat fat. Um, and so uh, this setup does work. Um, I do recommend potted plants as much as possible. If you use cuttings, the setup cuttings in a setup like this, they will wilt uh, in the uh, direct sunlight. Um, but anyway, not all gravid females of the Glaucus group of swallowtails, Eastern Tigers, Canadian Tigers, Abbey Tigers, Pale swallowtails, two tail swallowtails, western tigers um, are willing to lay eggs uh, in captivity. Um, for some reason, some of them are somewhat fussy, but if you can obtain two or three and set them up in a pop up cage like you see here and make sure they have plenty of room to fly, um, it can be productive. Thanks.